Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Cards here. I uh, got another amazing cylinder head here. Uh, this one here is a uh, cylinder head for a friend of mine, Goose. Uh, this is a Predator 212 or Tillotson uh, or clone uh, cylinder head. Uh, it could fit either a 212 or a 225 or is up to a 266 or a three inch board stroker. Very universal head. What it is as a base is the GX160 head. But what's crazy about this cylinder head is it has titanium valves and it has the Mold Star seats. And I don't know if you guys can notice, but there's one other thing. Can you tell what it is? There's something missing. And it's the oil passage this has been welded and filled with a solid rod all the way through that's the that's a that's a stage two basically i don't know i don't like the word stages but uh we have the normal max portent which is the bronze tube that we put through the next step to a bigger port or a wider port doesn't have to when i use bigger i'm not trying to say just bigger but a wider port you really want the width in the port we put a solid aluminum slug all the way through weld that in then we're able to open up the port on the on the on this side of the port all the way down and get another maybe quarter inch another quarter inch width in that port that width allows us to run a shallower port. So instead of the port being like a big circle, it's now more shaped like this, like an oval. Instead of being like a circle, it's now like an oval. And that wider port allows you to fill the sides of the valve with air a lot easier. When you use flow flags on the flow bench, you'll see a much higher or much more flapping of the the string in these areas with the wider port now let alone how it works and where on the valves it fills you can get overall velocity so much higher with a wider port if you have a very tall port what happens is down in the back of the of the bowl right down in here not coming up but right down in the back of the bowl you end up with a dead spot if the port's very tall if you make the port wider you get rid of that dead spot and we have actually filled in some of that area in the back with epoxy so this head is super trick and that's what's cool about heads like this you could build in so many features that makes these things amazing. Now this thing, we had one head on the flow bench that had held the CFM record, uh, and that was uh, our Mr. R. Wild. He had a custom trick manifold that we did, and um, was running fuel injection. And it had this uh, really big, really long manifold. Um, and when it comes down to uh, CFM, uh, we're able to get CFM in these heads so easily with Max Porton. I mean, when you calculate, when you, so when you know what cam you're using, um, the cam, if we say, okay, what cam are you running? If they're running like a, a 285 or a 265, we know that that, power band is going to be down around the six you know four to six thousand range four to fifty five hundred if someone's using like a 356 cam you know that power band is going to be higher so if you know what cam you have you know what power band the engine is going to operate in so when you know the engine's rpm and you know the volume you can get the CFM requirements from that what that engine needs. We can meet the CFM requirements with this cylinder head so easily that we were able to shape the port 
completely different. And when we did that reshaping, we now this head has the highest velocity we've ever charted along with hitting the CFM requirements for that bottom end. This thing is gonna make mega, mega power. I don't wanna go running this engine. Uh, he's got titanium valves and everything. This is a high dollar engine, high dollar build. Copper seats, titanium valves. Um, he's paid for the assembly even. Uh, actually was able to score him my last set of uh, red stripe dual 60s. And he's got the custom uh, Paul's Carts bronze guides in there. Um, this head is amazingly ported for high RPM. Beautiful. I don't think you're going to be able to see down this intake port. No. But that port is wicked. I'm talking about it's wicked. It is, uh, it's, it's been filled in in about three areas and widened so wide uh, on both sides of this port that the port actually looks like this and that fills the the that is able to get the CFM requirements so easily because of the size that we were able to reshape it to a way to get the velocity through the roof when you're talking about power it's always about airspeed Guys say, oh, well, this head flows more CFM. I got this head, it flows more CFM. When you're talking about power, whoever gets out in front on that race, it has got the amount of enough air out of that cylinder head to fulfill the engine so it's not starving, so it can rip all those RPMs out. The guy with the most airspeed is going to just pull so much harder. When you have airspeed, the engine pulls. If you have just a lot of CFM, once you get that engine going, yeah, it can go, but it just won't get going. If you have the right amount of CFM and that super high airspeed, man, it's just pulling the whole way and it's a rocket ship. That's when you see the dyno graphs completely change. When we dyno cylinder heads that people send us from other builders, there's just, there's, you know, there's some great builders out there. Don't get me wrong. There really are some great builders out there. But there are a lot of builders out there that are like, who who built it? Oh, yeah, yeah. You pretend like you heard of him before. You never heard of the guy. And they send you in the cylinder head. And you, 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 you make a dyno run on it just to see what the guy's doing. And it's just crap. It's not making any power. It's, you know, it's just, it's junk. And then you look at the actual build quality and you're like, man. What are people paying for out there? And, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, but there's a, a lot of good builders out there. They really are. And everybody has their own recipes on how they get to where, um, you know, we've just flow bench and dyno. That's how we get there. Flow bench, dyno, and just putting the money into research and, uh, buying the right parts and having the right stuff in stock. Like we stock the titanium valves, the copper seats. We stock all that stuff that other people call us to get. We stock the custom guides. You know, a lot of builders will have that stuff, but they'll call us to get it. So uh, when it comes to having the right stuff in stock and putting the right package together, um, something like this is going to absolutely scream. Um, this guy isn't even mainstream racer. This is just a, a good guy that's, uh, you know, he, he just wants to have a badass bike. If this guy was a mainstream racer, this guy would be making waves with this thing. The build he's got going on is absolutely amazing. He's got the billet, PK, RPM3 cam, all the best stuff he's putting into this thing. Uh, if he was out there and actually uh, uh, grinding with the guys down at the track, and down at these, uh, you know, races, this guy would be making waves. Um, he's got a lot, a lot of good stuff going into that engine. So, uh, Goose, this is your engine. Uh, you can get this engine, uh, this cylinder head on the site. You can order, or you can add the bron the, the uh, titanium valves to the cart. And uh, under shop service, you can click assembly. So, you can get this cylinder, and, and under shop service, you can add Max Porton. So you can build this cylinder head through the website just like this. 
uh, super nice. It's got uh, all the spring upgrade, the epoxy port, max port, and the, the second half of max port that we don't even really have on the site. Uh, furthering the epoxy besides just uh, the regular epoxy port. This is like uh, completely recontoured. Uh, you know, besides just the carpet seats, it's got the titanium valves, um, titanium retainers, uh, dual coil 60 red stripe springs. Uh, just perfectly hit for the numbers. I uh, spent a little bit extra time on this because this, as you can tell, it has some great features. Features cost money. You got to pay to play in racing. So we put a little bit more time into this one, really refined it. Uh, absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, uh, so check us out. Website is uh, paulscarts.com. You can check out the website, paulscarts.com. Uh, if you want to get in contact with us, you can contact us through the website. There's a through site contact, the contact us button. If you want to uh, contact us, you can email us. You can email us at paulscarts at gmail.com. That's paulscarts at gmail.com. Uh, or you can text or call, preferably text. The text or call number is 781-492-7358. So check this out on the site. Goose, this is yours. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.